So I was reading the comments of my recent video that I did about the Miami Dolphins. And I said that the Miami Dolphins were Dark Horse Super Bowl contenders going into this season. And there were a lot of Dolphins fans who said that they're not just Dark Horse contenders, but they are legit Super Bowl contenders. And I said legit Super Bowl contenders. I mean, you mean to tell me that Tua Tagovailoa is going to be able to stay healthy, that the offensive line is going to perform at an elite level? And I ended up going back and forth with one of these guys in the comment section, and he says that, I guess he's a Dolphins fan, Junior Cruz, 3866, says that you can't be a Dark Horse Super Bowl contender when you have one of the top three most talented rosters in football, which Miami has. Miami ain't no Dark Horse. They're a Super Bowl contender if they're mostly healthy. Now, I'm sitting here reading this just a little bit apart. I'm like, what? Miami has one of the top three most talented rosters in the NFL? So you know what I clapped back and said? I said that they aren't favorites to win their division. As a matter of fact, they're third behind the Bills and the Jets to win the AFC East. And they're tied with the Ravens for the fifth best odds to win the AFC. I'm going by odds. And the Dolphins do not have a top three roster in the NFL when they have questionable offensive line play. And they aren't better than the Bengals, the Ravens, the Chiefs, the Eagles, the 49ers, the Seahawks, or even the Cowboys. Now, the reason why I go off odds is because... Y'all got to know that I bet on this stuff. I bet on over, under, win totals, and I also put a lot of money on futures bets. So that's why when I come to analyzing and judging teams based on if they're overrated, underrated, I normally go by Vegas odds. So that's why I always normally refer to the odds when I'm addressing if a team's underrated or overrated. And then he claps back and says, JT Sports, you go by the odds? Why? Them stupid odds don't mean shit anyway. The Seahawks? And he puts a lot of laughing emojis. I'm effing dead, yo. You really just said the Seahawks are better than the Dolphins? Yes, fool. Have you not seen how good of a roster Seattle has? Their offensive line is way better than Miami's. They're going to have way better offensive line play. They have a top five receiving core in the NFL with DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, in addition of Jackson Smith and the Jig, but now although Miami does have a really good receiving core with Jalen Wilder and Tyreek Hill, that's just two guys. Two guys. Your third best receiver is nowhere going to be close to how good Jackson Smith and the Jig was going to be. And then, yeah, you probably can say that your defense under Vic Vangios is possibly going to be better than Seattle's, which I'm going to give you that. But when it comes to some of the other teams in the NFL, Kansas City, Cincinnati, let's be for real, folks. Let's be for real for a second. Let's be for real for a second. You mean to tell me that the Miami Dolphins are going to have a better roster than the Dallas Cowboys, the Seattle Seahawks teams that have way better offensive lines? Y'all not even the best team in y'all division. Are you being serious right now? You think that y'all have a better roster than the New York Jets? And your main talking point was Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers? I mean, yeah. Aaron Rodgers, when he's playing at his best, this dude is better than Tua Tagovailoa or Tua Mr. Injury Prone Tagovailoa. And I'm not saying that the Dolphins don't have a talented team, but to say they have a top three roster in the NFL makes you a little bit delusional. You mean to tell me you have one of the top three best rosters in the league? Your roster isn't touching San Francisco. And then what blows me the most, right? I hate people who do this. Miami is better than Dallas, and the Ravens, too, they beat Baltimore the last two times they played. Listen, you cannot judge the future of NFL games and outcomes based on history. The Ravens team that you're playing this season is not the same Ravens team that you played last year. They have way more weapons and a better offensive coordinator, and also their defense was way better at the end of last season versus how they were when they first played y'all. And then let's continue. He says, stop listening to them stupid odds, kid. Kid, doesn't this fool look like a kid himself? Whatever. The Jets also don't have a more talented roster than Miami. I don't care about 90-year-old Aaron Rodgers, buddy. Look at Miami's roster top to bottom. If they get Dalvin Cook, Miami is officially a super team. Miami is a super team if they get Dalvin Cook, people. If they get Dalvin Cook, Miami is a Super Bowl team. They're a Super Bowl caliber football team. Who's going to be blocking for Dalvin Cook? Behind that offensive line, good luck, Dalvin Cook.
Good luck. Now, your defense is going to be really good. You do have some dogs on defense. We know about Jalen Ramsey, Jalen Phillips, Bradley Chubb should get his play elevated under Vic Vangio being the, head, being the defensive coordinator. He was his head coach back when he was playing for him at Denver. But for Miami, having a better talented team than the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets, not it, bro. Your offensive line is not better than Buffalo's, and the damn sure ain't better than the New York Jets or the Kansas City Chiefs or the Cincinnati Bengals. The Miami Dolphins have way too many question marks when it comes to the health of Tua and how good the offensive line is going to perform for them to be considered having a top three roster. Xavier Howard was not good last year, and Dolphins fans want to blame it all on injuries. Listen, if you're healthy enough to play, you should be able to go out and produce. Xavier and Howard was getting cooked last season, dog. You don't know how many times I turned on the Dolphins game and I saw Xavier and Howard looking like roast chicken. Xavier and Howard was looking like roast chicken out there, man. We know Jalen Ramsey's locked down, but Xavier and Howard, fam, this dude had a fall from grace last year. Now, playing under Vic Vanjo, his play should improve. But Miami's roster is not more talented than Cincinnati. You want to go position by position? Well, we don't really have enough time to be going position by position. But first of all, when it comes to Kansas City, you don't have Patty Mahomes. You don't have a better offensive line than Kansas City. Your receiving core is better than Kansas City. But Kansas City is a team that's able to get elevated because they have Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid as a play caller. And even then, they got Travis Kelsey. But okay, I'll, I'll give you the advantage at receiver. On defense, I mean, I, I think that Kansas City's secondary isn't as good as Miami's on paper. I think their defensive line is better than Miami's. Christian Wilkins, I like him a lot. That dude is a dog, but he's not giving you the same production that Chris Jones gives you at the pass rep position. They also do have that other guy. I'm trying to think of his name right now. The dude out of, um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's that other pass rusher that they have, man? Um... Uh, George Karloftis, they got George Karloftis, they have a really good group of linebackers, how one of their linebackers, Nick Bowen, you could have made the argument that he should have been in discussion for Super Bowl MVP, the Dolphins linebackers are okay, but I don't think they're as good as Kansas City's, so when you look at the Dolphins roster compared to Kansas City, I don't think you have a more talented roster than Kansas City, and you damn sure don't have a more talented roster than the Cincinnati Bengals, I mean, Dolphins fans, they look at their roster and they look at their top guys. They don't look at their overall depth. The Cincinnati Bengals are three deep at receiver. Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase. Their off the line is going to be really good. Your offensive line is not as good as Cincinnati's and you don't have Joe Burrow at QB. Joe Burrow, without a doubt, is the second best QB in the league behind Patrick Mahomes. And their defense under Luana Rumo is always going to be really fantastic. And Vic Vangio's defenses are always pretty good, but defensively, I think that you may have the argument that your defense could be better than Cincinnati's. But overall, we go to Philadelphia. You damn sure don't have a better roster than them. You don't have a better roster than Seattle. Seattle not only has talent, but they also have great depth. I don't think that the Dolphins have a top three roster in the NFL. And the Dolphins aren't even expected to be competing for the division title. They're probably going to be in third place. They still are going to be able to make it to the postseason. But I don't think they're going to be able to knock off Buffalo. Did you not see how Tua Tagovailoa played in big games last season? Did you not see how Mike McDaniel's offense got figured out against Brandon Staley, the 49ers? I mean, come on. Like, Dolphins fans, listen, you have reasons to be optimistic this year. You do have a shot at winning the Super Bowl, but to say that you have a better chance at winning the Super Bowl than Kansas City, Cincinnati, and saying that you have a top three roster in the NFL makes you sound really delusional. Really delusional. I mean, you have two really good receivers. You're not three deep at receiver like Seattle, Cincinnati, and some of the other teams that are better than you in this division or in this conference. I mean, the New York Jets, they have Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazard, Miko Hartman. I mean, yeah, your receiving core with Roddle and Hill is better, but you don't have more depth. That's really what it comes down to. You guys are just looking at your top starters. You're not really taking a deep look into your overall depth. The Miami Dolphins offensive line is amongst the worst in the NFL. You signed, did this, did this guy say they signed Isaiah Wim 
Isaiah, Isaiah when? He said they signed Isaiah when? No way he said they signed Isaiah when, bro. No way. Did, did he say they signed Isaiah when? I got to see this. I have to see this because I know this dude said something about them signing Isaiah when? Yeah, and the offensive line improved it too with Isaiah when? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Y'all signed Isaiah when? Isaiah when? That dude is a reclamation project. Outside of Teron Armstead, a left tackle, the majority of your offensive linemen, you're banking on potential and development. Potential and development doesn't win you championships. Isaiah Wynn, there's a reason why New England didn't bring him back. If Isaiah Wynn was good, do you think New England would let him walk out of Foxborough? I know New England doesn't really pay a lot of money to keep guys around, but they always put a lot of emphasis on keeping the offensive line up to snuff and the defensive line up to snuff. Isaiah Wynn is not that good. He's coming off the worst season of his career. Come on, man. Come on. Be real. I like the Dolphins. Like I said, y'all are dark horse Super Bowl contenders. Y'all have way more questions than teams like Kansas City and Cincinnati. But to say that you have a top three roster in the NFL, bro, you tripping. You tripping hard. 